their way passing not, not yeah and also the other thing uh, we were driving around Madabani who you know it's like we were out away from uh, the you know like uh, natural and then, like, so we have so much yeah. and there were swallows down there a lot of I'm a, if you want to see around, it's 100 meters further. And then. <coughs> yeah, well, the doctor said that'd be fine, didn't he? Yes, he did. That's in the toilet, the link. This sand is more formed by the sandstorms. You know, we are surrounded uh, by uh, Nagav Desert, Sinai Desert, and Wadi Ram and the Arabian Peninsula. So it blows wind, like wind and, and sandy storms. This was not here last year. The same thing in, in Wadi Ram, you would find like the big dunes. Uh, this time here, like two, three years, you would find it in a different way. Uh, also, this tree, I think it's humble. I did, you got it. So there is a body. It's not the tree. There's a, a, a tree it's called Harmel. Have you heard about it? No. Harmel, it's not this one, but it looks almost the same. That one is, uh, it grows in the desert and it's quite famous among the Bedouins. Uh, it's like a part of their s spiritual life. You know, the, the Bedouins in Jordan, you would find Christian Bedouins, Muslim Bedouins. But away from religions, they both have their own, you know, spiritual life. So we, they believe that there is like the evil eye, you know, when, when you are in a good, uh, like um, camels and cattle and good, you know, house and good life, then you, would, you might be attacked by what they call it, the evil eye. So they find, for example, in the morning, they, they, there are many sick camels and, you know, something wrong. So what they do, they come to the tree of the Harmel and they burn it, like they burn incense. Oh. So it's Harmel chamomile? Mm. And they call it Harmel. And the, the surprising for me that I found, you know, when I work with people from different nationalities, that some people, they are already familiar with it. Uh, but, you know, they have different names. Uh, we are in Little Bitter, and you see behind you, um, like, uh, a grave for a member of the royal family was found out here. Right there, the Just to this like the side of the and it was the best thing you would see. Look at the depression they use, and the bit different that we the depression that we have seen in Bitter Side. That's because this was the much older than Same concept. Four circle, the job five. And same thing they did in the city with the five steps or the four obelisks and the relief in the middle. The whole side here is only literally it's caravan side. It was founded to serve the caravans. And you know, uh, sorry, I will show you inside like uh, big caves where those caves were used to uh, 
feed people, to serve them with food and water. And you know, in that time, they, they were able to, to start stretching. Uh, because if you go inside that cave, you would find like three bunches and with the furniture at the top of it. So also there's a small window where um, they serve the food. Also there's like a basin where they could clean and you know, uh, refresh themselves after a long time riding. Sometimes you find like here, you know, steps. And look, this, you can find the same wherever you go in, in the city. Like the, the, the beginning, you will find that detail. The steps are detailed and then nothing. It's just, you know, to symbolize afterlife. We are going to... Uh, just move this. Yeah. Elias, go check, check it out. We are going to pass by, by the small uh, natural split. They used it to be the entrance to their city. This uh, like split or canyon, whatever you call it, that we are going to pass through, that one is man-made. It's not natural. They cut it. So how did they get in? Was there another way in? Uh, yes, but uh, the other way in, uh, it's like climbing. Oh, okay. uh, but this one is uh, it's like more flat. <coughs> so when did they cut this entrance? This dating back about 200 years, uh, second century BC. Okay, so, so they couldn't um, get camels through here. Uh, no, no camels out here. outside and inside for serving the people. You will see how it looks like when you go in. And you see the fragments of the clay everywhere, wherever you go. Yeah. <laughs> Primitive tools, the old tools, that's what, what this lady is doing. 
she's wearing the same uh, as I remember my grandmother she used to wear you know this scarf this, and this small jacket which made out of the uh, wool and they use this you know like uh, food they call many one so uh, I want you to see in the corner here there's like water well here uh, there is a, a good example of the water system in a bath used to have <laughs> Look how beautiful is this stairway and it comes with a small wall like uh, what you call that in English the, the, the thing that they use you use to assist you while you are climbing is like handrail yeah. and this one simply is the technique they used everywhere to save the water of the rain what they used here, uh, basin channels at the top of the mountains connected to each other through tiny channels. And then the water comes out of that small hole here down to fulfill this water well after it was covered with plaster and they mixed with that plaster the bottom end, you know, to be more like uh, to save the water. And here, uh, the bully? Bully. Bully. Uh, to get the water up. Is that the hole right there? Okay. Yes. Here. This like one among tens were found, you know, all around Petra City. Oh, wow. Another royal tomb we can find, uh, I mean, you can see here. And this one, for me, I always find it amazing how they cut the mountains. Uh, the columns. Those columns are not freestanding stands. They are not freestanding columns. They are attached. They were above the mountain. They cut them around. Same concept of the treasury. But those are more fine and well preserved. I can see them. Up and down. So what was it, Helen? I was busy looking at it. Yeah, so if that makes sense. The caravan, they stop camels, horses. They come to here to rest. No. It's small size, you no, see. No animals. Anymore. No animals inside okay. because it's uh, narrow. Yeah. Uh, but here where they could enjoy themselves, yeah. you see um, restaurants and places yeah. to sit. The next one behind you. And water. And, and the, the, okay. all the... Um, um, and wine. And wine. Yeah. <laughs> you know, the, the, uh, the Nabatans were famous for... Oh, and was Okay. That's okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's only. They really enjoyed life. You know, we all they, could, they could they could fi uh, find out of the lighting lamps, you know, even the decoration they used uh, that was uh, describing their life. So yes, they drink wine. You know, at some places they found like big amount of clay fragments where they crush the cup after drinking the wine in in a celebrations. Yes. Yeah. The Greek. You know it. Yeah. They were he uh, Im uh, heavily influenced by the Greeks. Even you know the king who was buried in the treasury, his name is Aritus, he named himself Phil Helen, the lover of the Hellenistic oh, okay. And during his reign, uh, his people <laughs> used the Greek language as the second language. Oh, but wow. like French or yeah. so. Yeah.
clearly a very civilized, cultured people. Yes. Highly cultured. Highly and they didn't, didn't, didn't give Tom saying anything, so that person is a like the Egyptians, nothing. Mummification. They used to do. They do mummification. Yes. And they had also some gifts uh, in order to pass. Uh, the uh, yes, they, the they used to keep the belongings and the positions of the dead person. The for the afterlife. For the afterlife. Yes. And it was in the cave. You know, in Jordan, for example, they could not find the mummies, but they would, they found the Nabatian mummies in uh, some parts in the Arabian Peninsula and in Yemen. And you know, they used to cut um, like a, to, to, to carve tomb, big tomb for the members of the royal family. And if they were ordinary people, they would just keep them in uh, like a big niche. Uh, ah, yeah. Okay. yeah. So uh, we keep walking. What's that cut out there? Uh, this is under the water. Yeah, and uh, 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 water system, but uh, also this used to be more like the side of the building to left. Oh, got it. So it's losing the details. Right. Did you let it out or? No, I didn't act on it until. Yeah, it'll be tough for you to take a picture. Yeah. Okay, for you. Oh, you're a one. You want to fly? No. Hey. Salam This lady is from the Bedouin community and uh, she invited us. What we did Oh, this is Yeah. Oh, I can have to push it. And now I'm on the carpet. Oh, so we'll be safe with this. Oh, that's right. Here we've lost part, right? From there. That looks like it. It's like another tomb. Yeah. So they still haven't found uh, where the houses would have been? Uh, did, did, did you see the Petra? Petra? Yeah. You have seen it. No, no, no. Is it further out? Oh, past yeah. the um, the king's tomb. Yes. Yeah, it's further out. It's there. like in the front of the theater. Got it. Yeah. Got it. Caves. They use caves, but Probably also they use uh, they build their own homes. Okay. That's where I actually got this necklace. Oh, nice. <laughs> it's very Here is the interesting thing about this site. This caves. Like this is the first one we are going to see, and you find several ones. Same concept. You can imagine in that time, uh, after riding the camel or the horse long time, how, how tired you would be. So they have uh, furniture here where people would stretch, lie, like enjoy their life. When they come to here, it's like walking, okay? <laughs> and this room, they would serve the food. Same like the modern time. <laughs> so where this were like big restaurants where the traders, the foreigners, the passengers, they would find the opportunity, you know, to overnight, to get served, same like you do, guys, while you are staying here, right? But different fare. And what is that room on the right, did you say? Uh, that one for serving the food. And, ah, for the food. You know, the, ser the, the service. And you look at the ceiling, you can see the black color. This is because of the smoke of fires. You know, the big ones, like the lady we have seen, they used to live in here, and they just like a couple of years ago, they left this site and this, you know, they moved out. Because, you know, they, they, they would love to use this one in winter season, you know, to winter here. So you can imagine how well sheltered is here. Yes. So you see several um, caves, they have the same concept. I, I want to show you this clay, this is the Nabatian. 
You know, yesterday we have seen uh, one of the ladies, uh, uh, no, he was a gentleman, he was selling like a broken clay and uh, it comes with painting. Look, this one also it comes with painting. This they call the egg shell, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's very fine, like fine and even yeah. it's like stuffed. Mm -hmm. this, is, this is all, by the way, from taking the ash out and yeah. putting yes. it out here. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, you can tell. When it yeah. when it sticks to your finger, yeah. then it has oh, charcoal really? in it. Yeah. If it doesn't, then you know it's just they, dirt. they live here hundreds of years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like a cooking. And it sticks to my fingers. Yeah, it sticks to my fingers. <coughs> now, if uh, some of you are okay with the. Uh, Climbing few steps, then you would be able to see the only fresco ever was found in Petra City. It's in that cave where the lady is. It's the only what? Uh, the only uh, fresco uh, fresco art was found in Petra City. Uh, I like that sound. So even the doorways are not clear. Ah. There she is. Picture, group picture. That's here. Mike. Yeah. Picture. What is I don't know her name. Okay, Caroline. And Caroline. These two people come, come on. Here. <laughs> <laughs> First well, that guy said that's nice. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> you ready? Well, I now I have to grab some of your tickets.
Yes, I know. I'm there. Oh, one cold drink and one ice cream. Jangi, where are you? Where are you? Huh? You want a picture? Do you want a picture? Thank you very much. Quindi una parola buona. No, veramente io. Su cramo. Su cramo. Non voglio una parola buona. Se sei una ragazza che dice... No, la c'è. che poi non so se è stata sua capacità o una richiesta nostra 